I know what you're thinking. I said it to you before, I'm gonna say, and I said every week I'm going to give you something hot, right? I'm going to give you a video every week. Last week, I was out of the state. I went out to meet some good people. Mixing up, making moves, doing what we do on Best Man Made, and I didn't give you a video, and I feel bad about it. But the good thing is this. While I was out doing my thing, I thought about what is it that I haven't talked much about. And it's something that you guys have asked me time and time again. You always say, look, Mac, you know, we see the style that you might be rocking, you know, when you got your, whether it's a turtleneck or something like that. Speaking of turtlenecks, let me tell you this real quick. If you go to uh, Mac is Legend on Instagram or Best Man Made on Instagram, you will see how I rock this turtleneck in three different looks. It was a whole day type of thing. The whole concept was a was a morning, afternoon, and night look. And I'm gonna tell you what: you keep a base layer like a base piece, and then just freak it up. It comes out really hot. Check that out on Instagram. But listen, I digress. When it comes down to it, there's really three things that people look at when they notice you. I'm not talking about a first impression about like when you speaking and all this kind of stuff and, and people look at your style and they kind of look at certain things and certain aspects of you as a person. Now some things you can't change, I'm sorry about that, you know, whatever. But I'm going to give you three things that you can change. Actually, you know what, I ain't going to give you all three. I'm going to really focus on one. And that one thing is something you've asked me about time and time again. Let's go and get right to it, get what they want, roll it. When people see you, when they look at you, when they get an impression of who you are, what you do, what you're about, they notice three things, right? They notice your teeth. They notice your hair. Got a couple of grays, I'm telling you. I need to kind of get a trim. And they notice your feet, your shoes, what you got on. Now, you guys have asked me a couple of times, you say, Mac, I see the top part. I want to see the, the, the look. What, do you, what kind of kicks are you rocking with that? Look, and I'm going to tell you what. I'm not a shoe guy. I'm not, in, in my closet, I think I have probably about 10, maybe 10 pairs of shoes, maybe. I'm gonna probably tell you I got about six that I wear, right? And that just depends on the situation and season, but I'm talking like year round, it's pretty much six different shoes that I rock. But I'm gonna tell you, out of those six, four of them that I can think of off gate are from the same company, all right? So I'm gonna tell you this. Normally, I like to rock something more like a, like a, I hate using the term, you know, business casual, dress casual, whatever. But I'm at a, I'm in a certain kind of place in my life and a certain kind of choice of style that I'm pretty much rocking something in there. Where I might be having like some nice chinos, um, whether it be a button up, or whether it even be like a, um, like a t-shirt type, you know, sweater, whatever it might be. That's kind of more like a business casual type of look, a dress casual you know, something fly that I tend not to wear a lot of a lot of sneakers. It ain't really my thing as much. You know, I don't know what it is, man. I've seen a lot of like fly shoes. Some people that are like shoe people, they got like a lot of dope pair of shoes. They look hot. You know, they rock them, and I'm like, yo, they look good on you. When I put them on, they look clunky. They look big. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's a lot of uh, like I mean, I'll stick to like my. I got Adidas. I rock a lot of Adidas. Um, I just like the brand, you know, more than anything else. But I rock my Adidas for my for my sneakers. But normally on a, on a day day look, you know, like I said, if you look at that 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 shoot I did, you know, and I gave you the three different um, the three different outfits with the same core piece. I mean, Zara makes a heck of a daggone sweater. But I'm gonna tell you this: once I rock that, my main shoe is gonna be a Cole Haan shoe. Now let me tell you this. First, let me show you my dress shoe. All right. Okay, my dress shoe, this one's kind of has some wear and tear to it. This bad boy right here. Let's see, can you see that? Let me see if you can see that right there. Let's zoom in. You see that? It's got a little, got a little wear and tear, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little life happening to it. But see, that's the beautiful thing about a nice leather dress shoe. Especially a nice brown leather dress shoe. Reason why I like brown, I, I have two different colors. I got a, I got a, this is more of a deeper brown, right? Make sure I got that right. Yeah, it's more of a deeper brown. I got a lighter brown as well. And these can pretty much go with anything. I don't care if you're wearing a black suit, gray suit, blue suit, whatever. A nice brown pair of, uh, of dress shoe. 
will do you right. Put the shoe tree in there. Definitely put the shoe tree in there. But this cold hand right here, man, I'm gonna tell you what, bro. I, I've, I've gotten some good, some good life out of this thing already. Um, you keep it up. I mean, I like seeing the scuff marks. That's what I think you kind of want to see that. Give it some flavor. Show that you don't just like take too much. Like you're not too prissy about your shoe. You're too prissy with your shoe. It look a little outside of the dress shoe. I like a nice casual, nice business casual shoe. I just picked these puppies up. This right here is the original grand, right? This is the original grand um, uh, shoe from from Cole Hunt. Now. I'm lucky. I got a, uh, I got an outlet not too far from where I live, so I always go to the outlet. So these bad boys only cost me about, I think, 160 or something like that. Um, but I love these shoes, man. The inside feels so good. But this, like I say, you'll get a little bit of life in this. I mean, these bad boys are brand spanking new. I just got them, just picked them up, so I can't really wait to wear them. But see, I might freak, I might freak these with like. Some nice little chinos, some nice khakis, some jeans, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll rock this, might throw a hat on, might not. You know, it's just, I think the shoe game is all about finding things that fit your style and your look. See, don't get me wrong, sneakers that a lot of these cats rock out here, you know, whether it be like the, you know, the Jordans, which I think are exceptional shoes, they just, like I said, they just look kind of funny on me, but, but the Jordans, you wanna go Puma, I didn't told you how I feel about Puma. Uh, or you or Adidas, that's all fly. That's all good. If it look good on you, rock it. I mean, I'm just telling you straight up. If it look good on you, rock it. But if you want to change the style up a little bit, and you out doing like your boy Dugs, Dugs, you gotta give him a little something different than some sneakers, okay? And I'm telling you, this bad boy right here, I already know we about to get us in trouble. Okay, I got some things that are popping. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm excited about those. These are gonna be. Uh, Definitely in my arsenal when I get my fit together. Good God, look at that. Look at that shine. Now that shine, like I say, is gonna dull out. I don't wanna be looking, again, you don't wanna be looking like, you don't wanna be looking prissy, but you don't wanna be looking like you don't know how to put a look together. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's just your boy. You could just keep on sneakers through in and throughout your entire outfit. And that's fine and dandy. Matter of fact, don't even do the, don't even do the sneakers. Go to sandals, right? You can just rock sandals all day and all night, no matter what you put on, you know, looking like you might be out in some kind of playground. Something like where a little kid would go, a little boy. But as we all know right here, right now, on Best Man Made, Boys Are Born. But man, man, we'll see y'all next time. Ha! People look at you and they notice you. They notice your teeth. Whether you got a gap tooth or not. They notice your hair. Whether you slick it back or not. We gotta do one on hair. I know everybody's asking me, you know. Gotta tell you about that. But the third thing that they talk about, or they look at, or they notice when they're talking to you, I'm almost fall. Oh, let's do that over. Okay.